Hello, this is Mark Boyer, and this is a uh, follow-up on uh, the May Day strike. Uh, things seem to be getting quite a buzz, okay? There seems to be, uh, right now there's four anonymous uh, videos out there on May Day strike. Uh, there is all this buzz that there's in excess of 700 major cities that are going to do doing something on May Day strike, and uh, uh, Democracy Now made a mention of it. So it's quite open knowledge, okay? Uh, and yet, authority has just got their mouths shut, acting like nothing is going on, and they're just being ignorant, okay? So, bottom line is, how do you wake up authority? Okay, and I've got this little thing that anyone can do. Actually, two people. Okay? One holding a camera and one holding a microphone as a prop or asking politicians a question. Okay? This is fun. Okay? And it starts the debate. The reality is, is what has to happen is it has to be a movement that starts with the people. And that's you. You can start this by coming up with you and a buddy with a camera and coming up to a politician, a judge, a mayor, uh, and uh, in the United States, come up to a political candidate and go, Sir, what do you think in return for the return to true constitutional law that we give every one of you assholes uh, amnesty for having gotten us into this rotten pit? and hand them the microphone, see what their response is. Now record this. You can be creative. Now the reason you're recording it is because start posting it. Start posting it, okay? Uh, go to my Occupy World uh, Facebook site and post it there, okay? And maybe people will start going to it, okay? Now the reality is, is the reason why this is an important question is because it fulfills a real serious warning. That warning goes, you can say whatever bad you want about Jesus. You can say whatever bad you want about the messenger. But anyone who says anything bad about the Spirit will never see the gates of heaven. Now, it doesn't say the Holy Spirit. So it's the spirit, okay? And the spirit contained in an amnesty offer to all these assholes who've gotten us into this pit just before they're about to blow our ass to kingdom come is really a chance for this person to that's asking the question to uh, uh, get that politician to pick which side he's on. It, it's... An incredibly good thing. True constitutional law would mean the return of true civilized life to return to the planet. All prisons would have to be empty. All kinds of people would have to be left out of prisons. You know, like pot would be legal. Uh, heroin and crack and all of these things would have to be administered as medical problems, which they are. Not this endless cash cow pit for the CIA. Okay, it's coming and going. The, the crimes against humanity that have been done by authority is so outrageous. They, the only way they can get away from the liability is to start World War III, which is what they're do, going to do. Okay? okay, They're being given a chance to say, uh, yeah, I think uh, amnesty is a good idea. I don't know who else would support. Well, you know, like whatever they say, they're picking which side they're on. And... Uh, after a while, if we have a list of 5,000 politicians and bureaucrats and judges and clergy all saying that would be a good idea, uh, then all of a sudden the groundswell has started from we the people. Okay? Uh, there has to be a way of conquering with love. Okay? That, and I can't, I can't see any other way than by offering every lousy asshole down, down the tube uh, general amnesty in return. Uh, for sanity, okay. returning to a sane society. Uh, 
There's also a lot of talk about Jubilee out there, which is an amazingly good concept, okay? Jubilee is uh, a period, in, I, po I posted a video on my uh, Facebook uh, that's well worth watching, okay? It explains how in societies that had usurpery bankers, there was this tradition of after 49 years dismissing all the debt because uh, there was, and it's called Jubilee, because after that it would just expound on itself. Now the reality is the Queen uh, is now celebrating her Jubilee anniversary and it's the 60th year, okay? Now the reality is in law, uh, if you go back to her 49th year, that's when things started to go exponentially outrageous, okay? It, 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 I'm just trying to offer a general timeline there. Now, the reality is, is the fix to society has always been uh, to usurpery, which is what our banking form is, okay? Pure usurpery, it's not supposed to be. But if you're down to doing this, then you have to forgive the loan, you forgive all loans after 49 years because the Ponzi scheme has to end. Now, the queen would be surrendering to love and placing her faith in the messenger and she would never be put to shame if someone out there pushed my case, any one of my case files, they could push my one against the attorney, against the attorney general of BC, they could they file the one against me, the chief electoral officer of Canada, who uh, uh, that one is the fulfilling of Isaiah 3 and 4. Or they could take my Supreme Court, my Federal Court of Appeals one, which would be Dan, or sorry, that would be uh, Isaiah 40. Um, or they can just sit back and nobody does anything and Isaiah 59 occurs. And uh, I keep pointing to the fact that Isaiah 59 sounds like the best alternative of them all. And it's such a horror story because there's so many people who think that they're so good because they've done this, 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 and this, and they'll be saved when they're doing horrors all day long. And uh, we'll just take our chances. Bottom line is, uh, if someone places their faith in me, uh, they will never be put to shame. And uh, my damage award redeems all debt in the world. It's as if three years, four years ago when I filed it to fulfill Isaiah 3 and 40, it was as if the world was coated with gold, okay, entirely gold-plated. And now my damage award is so big that it's as if the world were made of solid gold through and through. That's what a hyperinflation index damage award does across seven years. Okay? And... The, 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 the economy that we live in now is suffering from a hyperinflation indexed a monetary system that must collapse. Now, take a chance on love. And uh, I need your help. Okay? Somebody has to go out there and start doing videos. Get off their ass. Be inspired. Do a video. Hammer a politician and post it on my website. Oh, on my Facebook, okay? I tried to set up a website, but it didn't happen. Uh, I'm still being blocked by authority right left and center. Uh, bottom line is, uh, doing that video will be very entertaining, and you'll have a good time, and you'll be contributing to conquering the love. Uh, no politician can slam you for asking a very valid question. And uh, be creative. Uh, that's all there is to it, and uh, may God bless. Thank you very much.